in this video we will going to set up the gdpr consent message now to set up the gdpr consent message first you need to install the google mobile ads sdk now here as in the previous tutorial we integrated the ad mob ads so i have already downloaded and imported the google mobile ads sdk package in the unity project here you can see it now, if you're doing it for the first time, you can install the Google Mobile Ads SDK by going to Tools, Mobile Monetization Pro Integration Tool and select the Choose Integration to be the Mobile Ads and here in the Choose Ad Network, you can select the Ad Mob and basically install this Google Mobile Ads SDK for GDPR. Just click on it and basically you can download the Unity package here and then click on the Google Mobile Ads Unity package and to download it basically. After downloading it, just import the package to the Unity and once after importing is completed, you can choose the integration here to be the consent manager and then import the required scripts. Click on the import. After importing is completed, we can close this window and we need to now click on the Assets External Dependency Manager Android Resolver and click Resolve. This will basically going to result in resolution succeeded. Click OK. After this, we need to now select the AdMob Ads Initializer. Now, in case you are using the Level Play Ads or the App Login Ads, you need you will going to have this checkbox Use GDPR Consent available there as well. Just make sure to enable this checkbox. And after this, we need to now go to Mobile Monetization Pro Tools, Mobile Monetization Consent Manager, and inside the scripts, drag and drop this Mobile Monetization Pro Consent Controller script to the AdMob Initializer game object. Just drag and drop it over here. Here, make sure to check the checkbox Display Consent. This will allow us to show the consent as soon as the game opens. Now, here you will go to find I have. We have to drag and drop the reset consent button, update consent button, as well as the error pop pop up and the error text. Now the reset consent button is a UI button that I have already created, which you can see by going to the canvas. And here you can see this reset consent button. Basically, it does not contain any function. On click, the script will going to handle this automatically. We just need to create this UI button like this. You can always change the source image sprite according to your needs. But this reset consent button is for the development purpose only. Just to check how the consent basically shows up when the game starts. We can always on the real Android device click on the reset consent and then restart the APK to test the consent again. So this is required for the development purposes. Just click on the AdMob Ads Initializer and drag and drop this Reset Consent button over here. While this is completely optional, for the Update Consent button, we need to here drag and drop this Update Consent button. This is also a button which does not contain any on-click function. The script will also going to handle this automatically. The Update Consent button will going to show the GDPR consent message again to the player where he can basically modify the settings if he wants to. So this is also required according to the new regulations. So here you can have this update consent button and basically you can place it somewhere in the settings of your game. Now, in case you don't want the update consent button or the reset consent button, then you can always make sure to leave this field as empty. After this, we need to drag and drop the error pop-up and the error text. This is also optional. Now, in case you, in case the GDPR consent message do not display due to the wrong app ID, then it will going to log a message. 
that the app ID is wrong, please use the correct ID or if the setup is incorrect, then it will going to show us what is basically wrong and why the GDPR is not displaying. And for this case, I have here created this error pop-up message. You can see and added this text. And this text would all, will automatically going to connect with the server and display the message over here. And we have this close button, which basically closes this pop-up. By default, I will going to keep the error pop-up message to be deactivated and reselect this and drag and drop the error pop-up message over here. Now, this is also optional and for the development purpose only. We can drag and drop this text as well over here. Now, after the GDPR consent message and the user have clicked on the consent, only then after we will going to start displaying the ads to the user. And for this case, we need to drag and drop here the Mobile Monetization Pro AdMob Ads Initializer script from the top to over here. And then it will going to allow us to choose the method to call after the consent is given by the user. And in this case, we can choose any of the functions we want, but we need to by default choose initialize and load ads as after the consent is given by the user, we want to make sure to initialize the Google mobile ads and start loading the ads in the game. Now here in case you are using the level play app loving, you will go to get the same function there, initialize and load ads, which you need to basically select from this drop down list. Once done, we have basically set up the GDPR consent message over here. Now the GDPR consent message and to start displaying it, we need to now make sure to go to the assets, Google mobile ads and settings. And here make sure to provide the proper app ID for both the Android and iOS so that it can connect with the Google AdMob server, check for these app IDs and then display the GDPR consent message properly in the game in the start. For this case, just open up the Google AdMob and here in the app settings, you will be finding the app ID. Just copy this app ID from here. And for the Android, just paste it over here. Similarly, you have to do the same for the iOS. Just select the test game to add mom iOS and go to its app settings, copy the app ID and then paste it over here. Once this is done, we have completed the setup inside the unit. Now, let's go to the Google AdMob dashboard. And here, first, we need to go to the privacy and messaging. Here, we need to click on the European regulations, click on the manage, create a message. Now you can change this message however you want and while I will going to leave it to be the default how it is according to the European regulations. So this app name will automatically going to change with the name of the app that we have specified in the Unity. So we don't have to basically change anything over here. Apart from this, we need to now click on the setup and then select the apps. Now here, we need to now choose the game, which is the test game 2, as well as the test game 2 AdMob iOS, and also add a privacy policy URL. Now, I've already added the privacy policy URL previously, so I will just going to use my own privacy policy URL. Now, in this case, you have to use your privacy policy. So, I will just going to add it. Once I already added the privacy policy URL, just click on the confirm. After both of these apps are added, we can choose here how we basically want to display the GDPR consent message. Basically, we want to keep the consent to be on. We want to have the manage options to be on. And I will not going to here choose the do not select to be on or off. I will just going to leave the default settings how basically it is. And I will just have two options here, manage options and the consent. And I will going to leave it as it is. For the styling, you can always change it. And for the targeting, 
Now here, as we are testing right now, we can choose it to be the everywhere. So for example, if you are not living in the UK, Switzerland or the Europe, then you can choose it to be everywhere and then test the GDPR consent message on the real Android device or the iOS device properly. Now, if you are releasing your game to the Google Play Store or to the App Store, then after releasing the game, you can here choose the targeting back to the countries subject to GDPR. But for now, as we are doing the testing, I will just going to choose it to be everywhere and then click on the publish. Let's click on the publish. Now here, for the do not consent, I will just going to choose it to be off. And just going to click on the publish button again. Once done, it will going to come up over here. Just click on it and you can always modify it later if you want to. I will just going to change the message over here to be the test game GDPR and then just click on the publish again. So now our GDPR is completely set up on the Google AdMob and now we are actually ready to test it on the real Android and the iOS device. One more thing here we need to do. I will just going to create another empty game object and call it as the consent manager. And instead of having the script attached over here, let's attach it to a separate game object. Just copy this component, remove the component and then select the consent manager and add it over here for more clarity and so that it could work properly in the game. So I will just going to keep the structure like this and make sure your structure looks the same. And after this, we can just click on the file, save the scene, save the project and then basically connect your Android device and then click on the build and run. Now on my Android device, let's open up the game and you will going to see this is the GDPR consent message that is appearing from the Google Ad Mob that we set up. Let's click on the consent here. And now you can see these are the personalized ads from the Google Ad Mob. We can see the banner and the native. And if we click on the reload button, we will be seeing the interstitial as well. Let's close it. Now here, if we click on the update consent, then it will going to show us two buttons, which is the consent and the do not consent. Now here, if we click on the do not consent button, then it will basically going to show us the non-personalized ads. So if we restart the game now, these are basically the random ads from the Google Ad Mob that are now appearing in the game. Let's close this interstitial ad quickly. So basically if we re-click on the update consent button, then basically we can change the consent again to consent or do not consent. Now here if we click on the reset consent button, then if we close the game and open the game again, then the GDPR consent message will going to appear again in the game. Great. Now let's test the same setup on the iOS device as well. Just click on the file, build profile, switch the platform to the iOS. After this, just click on the open scene list and add this samples iOS 14 advertising support scene, which we previously added. Select back the iOS and click on the build to build it on the iOS. Here on the iOS device, if you open up the game, first you will going to see the app tracking transparency pop up. Just click allow here. And then after the GDPR consent message will appear. Here let's click consent. And you will going to see below the banner ads are appearing. And then if we play, then we can basically click on the reload button on top. And now we can see the interstitial ad. Let's close it. Now here if we click on the update consent and click on the do not consent on the iOS device and then close the game, open it up again, you will going to see that the ads are not appearing. This is because of the Apple privacy rules. So here on the ad mob, if when we choose the do not consent, then the ads may not appear on the iOS device. And if we click on the Reset consent and then close the game and open it up again. 
then we can basically show the GDP or consent message again and then after have the ads running. So basically the user consent is important to display the ads with the full fill rate on both the iOS and the Android. So in case even on the Android, if you choose the do not consent, then the ads will be limited. The ads will still going to show, but they will be limited. And on the other hand, on the iOS device, if you choose the do not consent, then the ads may not appear. This is because of the Apple privacy policies. So basically this GDPR consent message is required in the countries subject to the GDPR. So after the release, of your game on both the App Store and the Play Store, you can go to the Google Ad Map, click on the test game GDPR, and then basically change here back the targeting to the country subject to GDPR. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.